wherever you may be. As temperatures begin to rise in the hot summer months, you may have concerns for the well-being of your plants. And you may begin to ask yourself, well, what can I do? How can I avoid the death of my plants? With some areas even reaching up to 100 or more degrees, here I have compiled five ways you can protect and care for your plants during the extreme heat of the summer. So first off on this list, we have watering deeply. Although this is the most common and most well known, watering deeply before the intense heat of the day is crucial for the survival of your plants. In the morning, water the root base of your plant, making sure that the root system and soil is thoroughly soaked but not over watered. The best times for watering are at dawn or dusk. And also, be careful on missing a watering session as during extreme heat, a 3D hiatus could prove fatal for your plant. The best time to water your plant is at dawn or at dusk simply because it is the time when plants are least susceptible to the heat of the sun and are able to absorb water as best as they can without any stress. Now, second off on this list, we have providing shade. In addition to watering, providing shade for your plant could drastically decrease the chances of heat damaging your plant. Potted plants should be moved into shady areas. While for in-ground plants, you could utilize shade cloths, umbrellas, or any type of structure to help. During this extreme heat, non-heat resistant plants should be put inside or given up plenty of shade in order to survive. And third on this list, we have mulching. During the extreme heat, mulch can help provide a layer of protection to the plant's roots, helping soil retain as much moisture as it can and helping keep weeds at bay. Mulch can also help regulate the soil temperature, acting as an insulator against the scorching heat. Although there are many types of mulch you can use, the main idea is that mulch could cover the roots of the plant so that the water and the moisture stays down while the heat of the sun beats on the mulch. The mulch acts as an insulator to help keep the plants cool and prepared for the hot summer. And on number four on this list, we have Avoid fertilizer. Although it may seem tempting to fertilize your plants, it is recommended to avoid it during the extreme heat, as fertilizer will only add on to the plant's existing stress and could possibly have negative effects contrary to the expected positive ones. If your plant requires fertilizer, try to find a point in which the temperatures are lowest. Add it early in the morning with plenty of water to ensure a fruitful and happy plant. And on number five, we have avoid transplanting and repotting. Similarly to fertilizer, you should avoid transplanting and repotting your plants as this can add to its stress. When you transplant, you disturb the root system and stress the plant's ability to absorb nutrients and water, putting the plant into a shock. If your plant has grown too big for its pot slash container and requires transplanting, make sure you do it in the morning when it's cool or at dusk. Give it lots of water and a shady area to reduce stress and speed up the recovery process. I hope this video was able to help any of you in any sort of way. Following these tips should help keep heat problems at bay and keep a happy and healthy garden. Happy gardening!